So hello everyone and welcome to the Deercast. Uh, you're joining us in mid-December. As you can see, a little bit of snow on the ground. Uh, we've just been out this morning and managed to bag ourselves a little Chinese water deer. Um, so that'll be some perfect Christmas uh, venison. We published a few video, um, sorry, a video a few weeks ago about the Napier Apex Auto Click, um, which is this bar that essentially fits in your hatchback boot uh, to allow you to do a suspended gralloc. Um, and a few of you have asked for footage of it in action uh, and how we gralloc. So I'm going to attempt to try and capture some of that for you uh, today. So here we go. So here is our Chinese water deer. Um, managed to use it just in the top of the neck there um, so a nice clean clean shot um, first thing we do um, with any deer is check for any sign of disease or illness and um, so that include checking around the mouth checking in amongst uh, the feet uh, checking the back ends uh, checking for ticks keds all the rest of it um, just to see in sort of what general condition it is also to give it a sort of once over um, we can see we saw it moving around it was in sort of decent good condition um, and feels in good condition as well um, nothing around the eyes nose or anything like that um, so next thing I do um, is with the knife um, is, is essentially bleed it so just just above the chest here I'll put the knife in like that um, to get into the chest cavity uh, and then as I'm withdrawing the knife I'll then cut up through uh, the throat here being careful not to puncture the food pipe um, or the windpipe essentially just open it up uh, up to the bottom of the chin here uh, the reason for that will become hopefully clear later so I've only got two hands so I'm gonna have to leave you there do that bit uh, and you'll join us back in a second uh, so we've just done a cut through the throat there uh, so the next step uh, is to do essentially the same around the back end so the dog clicks were pointing at it um, and cut around the bomb hole uh, so that then when we get this up, come away, um, it's ready to go. So cut through the tops of the hocks here uh, so we can put this gamble through and then just lifted it up onto the hook that the Apex Auto Click has here. So there's our deer, sort of nice and strung up, ready to go. So I'm not entirely sure how good this, this footage is going to be because uh, I've got the GoPro on my head. Um, but the first thing I do is pull uh, pull part of the abdomen apart, or sorry, sorry, away from the rest of the body, uh, and just gently slice in here. Cutting around. I mean, this isn't a milky milky day, so we haven't got to be worried about going through here. And then once we've exposed this, exposed this, sorry, just very gently, and you should be able to sort of just puncture through here, because most of the internal organs are now going to be hanging down at the bottom. So we should just be able to nick up to there. And that's then exposed this, and then put a hand inside um, to make sure I'm protecting any of the internal organs. And then just very gently cut down through here and careful not to cut either myself or the internal organs and so what you can do is put your finger over the edge of the knife like this and I'll cut down to there so where you then start to reach the chest bone uh, and then with the knife I don't go through the chest bone but try and cut through the skin to expose the chest bone and you'll see the guts and everything are starting to come out of the chest now so until that reaches down through there uh, and the reason for that is just I think it gives you when you then do change to the saw I think it gives you a cleaner cleaner cut through so then get the saw Again, making sure we're protecting any of the internal organs because the last thing we want to do is rupture anything when we've got such a clean carcass. So 
Sorry, trying to do this on camera as well. Isn't particularly easy. Especially when you've got a slightly blunt saw. So that's then cut through. So now done with the saw. We can expose up in here, check for any warning signs, anything we're not particularly happy about, check about the lymph nodes. I mean, this has got a huge amount of fat, uh, which all this white stuff is. Huge amount of fat covering on it. Uh, and because we've hopefully freed off and tied off um, the back pastures, we should just be able to pull those through. He says. There we go. So, and then exposing the diaphragm here which we'll just get our knife to go through. We can always tidy this up later in terms of the cut through the diaphragm. And that should, because gravity is pulling everything downwards, that should, everything should just want to just drain outwards. And because we've already freed off the esophagus, it will just drop out like that. And that then gives us a beautifully clean carcass like that.